Hey there, sign of Gemini. This is Kim. I'm here to do your reading for, oh, let me scoop this a little bit, for April 5th through 11th, your weekly. So let's get started. We're going to start with Oracle cards. Let's see. Please subscribe if you haven't and hit the like button. That really helps. If uh, you want a private reading, I do do those for donations. So let's begin. I try to make it as short and sweet as possible. That's crazy. <laughs> it's like another message. A card accidentally came in from another pile. The uh, Queen of Cups, woman holding a heart. All right, calling in Gemini spirit guides, angels for messages, higher self, messages for their greater good. Whoa. Immediately. I love this card because I always think about it whenever I start to worry. Yeah, whenever I start to worry about something, I think of the chop wood, which is the recommendation from spirit when you are getting overloaded, stressed out with the things that are happening in your life that maybe you feel like I have no control over at this moment or something's in the works. So they advise you to just keep your hands busy. Keep your hands busy, keep your mind active. It, um, it will raise your vibration to, if you can't think negative, you know, if you're trying to get away from negative thoughts, then do something that's just plain mundane and it will keep your mind busy changing the brain waves so come to the edge this is a wonderful card it's like the full card new adventures fresh new beginnings asking you to take a leap of faith and to try not to let the past influence how you feel about this experience let this experience be completely new for you like a new you the never-ending story this can be like a karmic circle that we feel is going on and on and on or a situation that just it's like it, it needs to get solved and it just never gets solved to you feels like it's never completed sticking out like a sore thumb all right the spell casting deck let's go to that Willpower. Willpower. Well being. And life purpose. Maybe it's something about persisting when your goals because you're headed towards feeling much better about yourself whenever you start doing what your life purpose is. Maybe this is your life purpose. Maybe life purpose is in, within a health field, something like that. Um, there is something really great about how you are going to be healed and mind and body. So mind, mind and body. <laughs> Spirit feeling like it's getting healed too. Let's see. Let's do these cards. For Gemini. What's the issue for Gemini? That chariot. Card of Cancer. The issue is that even though you're in your vehicle for success, you know that there's still hard work ahead. And balancing this is not has not been easy and it continually is not easy, but it is doable. And we have the ladybug representing luck, the bee representing prosperity, and the kid on the skateboard trying to get balance. Could be about travel too. Then we have the knight of coins on the challenge and isn't this most people's challenge this is a challenge to attain your financial offer right to attain an offer so it's almost like getting your pentacles but in a slow but steady pace so whatever you were offered that you've already stepped into i feel is challenging you because maybe something is just particularly hard about something 
it can be about a hard time finding another partner to come into your life that would provide some extra stability and security to you. Can, uh, yeah, um, so that could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer. Past position is Eight of Coins. Perfecting your skill, so whatever it was that you worked really hard on, perfecting your craft. And that's gonna serve you well in this future spread because that is the beginning of your prosperity, the Eight of Coins. Yeah, then we have the Queen of Wands. This person is really great at what they do. They take center stage and I feel it's about your skill. So it's whatever you created and you jump into this energy of just being bold, a risk taker, very inspiring, on the spotlight, center stage, whatever she created, it was fantastic. Queen of Wands could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Advice from Spirit, Seven of Pentacles. One, if you're trying to buy something or if you're considering something, maybe offer, maybe a relationship, something like that, Take your time and choose wisely. Also, for some of you, this is talking about have patience. Have patience with some aspect in your life right now. Have patience. Also, take the time to sow your seeds well. Like here, like that eight of coins. And then you can expect a really good harvest. Let's get some tarot just to see if it wants to add anything to all of these. Yeah. Goodness, goodness. Let me get what's on the floor. There's the magician on the bottom, so you can create or manifest whatever you really want with that. Nine of Cups, a wish granted for Gemini. Wish granted. Okay, Eight of Cups is coming with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Six of Wands. Maybe this is talking about a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, but this is certainly talking about a victory, being held up high by others. Um, and I think it involves the Eight of Coins, so whatever skill this is. The Queen of Pentacles is somebody who's kind of warm and motherly, and maybe this Queen of Pentacles energy just doesn't feel right. <laughs> like something off about it. There's something off about the characteristics. Um, maybe this queen doesn't have everything put together yet. Maybe it's just the beginning of Queen of Pentacles energy. Then we have King of Pentacles. And I have that reversed too. And it landed right here on that Knight of Pentacles. A king of pentacles reversed might indicate somebody who is, I want to say someone who maybe is good at business, but maybe the ways that they are good at business are questionable. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Four cups in reverse. So you're going outside you for answers, uh, trying to get answers outside. Two of Cups, a harmonious partnership, Gemini. And the Queen of Swords, energy upright, it's pretty good. Fact from fiction, seeing things in black and white. Uses her intellect, but she's not manipulative or not, not really putting, not playing mind games on people like the reverse can. So, Magician right here, let's do your tea leaves and wrap this up for you. Gemini. All right, we have Wind Chimes, Peace and Harmony. That's good news. That's really good news. Goldfish, Increase in Material Wealth or Spiritual Growth. Well, Family Wishes Come True. Flute, disappointment in a friend or lover. K 
casket, somebody going out of your life or the end of a situation and crib, birth or conception of a child or enterprise. All right, Gemini, thank you so much. You all have a wonderful week. Bye.